Close your eyes, focus on your breath. Take a few deep, long in and out breaths. Notice where you feel it in the body. Focus your attention there. And then ask yourself if it's comfortable. If long breathing is comfortable, keep it up. If it's not, you can change. Pay attention to what's going on in the present moment. Look to see what potentials you have, even in something as simple as the breath, to give rise to a sense of well-being. It was a large part of the Buddhist genius, was he looked at very ordinary things and saw that they had potential. The simple act of giving, he realized, has a lot of potential. Observing the precepts, in other words, abstaining from harming anybody, that has a lot of potential too. And then here come in, just watching your breath for a while. You begin to realize that as you do that, you're developing lots of good qualities in the mind. It's like exercising the body. If the body doesn't get any exercise, it gets weak and you don't see any strength there. But if you exercise it, you begin to realize it has a potential. There's a strength that comes with goodness. The Buddha was the one who ferreted that out. People back in those days were arguing, is there such a thing as goodness really in the world? Is it just a convention or is it something real? There are a lot of doubters. But the Buddha realized if you have conviction in the power of the goodness you can do, it gives you a lot of strength. Because based on that you can accomplish a lot of things. You get the energy to do that. It's important that you keep it in mind. And you can get your mind really settled and still. As you look back on our actions, look back on our thoughts, words, and deeds, you realize we haven't harmed anybody in our search for happiness. And that makes us even more confident in our search for happiness. It makes us want to look even deeper inside. Are there other ways of finding happiness that are even less harmful and even more productive? And we find that there's a lot of potential in the mind. So the potentials are there. As John Lee used to say, there are a lot of potentials in your body, a lot of potentials in your mind. And people, for the most part, don't use them, don't take advantage of them. We've got this human birth with all the potentials that a human birth can bring. So we should take advantage of them, see how far they can go. We have the example of the, the Buddha and the greater Johns, the Buddha's disciples, the monks and the nuns, and the lay people. That you can really go far 